hello everyone welcome to my channel it's your lady charlotte so today we'll be going through the scones making for beginners if you don't know how to make scones at the end of this video you will know how to make scones okay you will be perfect at making scones because it's the easiest recipe so every beginner is welcome to watch people with advanced baking skills you are welcome to give comments you are welcome to correct you are welcome to make any recommendations right i'm not a professional but i love baking okay so just uh, join me as i'll be doing the the step by step on how to bake scones the natural normal scones right so yeah let's go ahead and do it and thank you for subscribing to my channel everyone thank you for watching just stay tuned i will bring you some more and more and more of this so today we are just going to make some scones we are making normal scones so these are the ingredients it's your flour, it's your vanilla essence, mama's baked margarine, and milk, right? That's fresh milk, and I'm taking out some eggs, and also we carry on, right? So there's obviously sugar, that is part of our ingredients. Then you can measure sugar. So I got this internet for this um, receipt from the internet. So I measured one and a half cup of sugar there. So after uh, putting sugar, like I combine sugar with my, my, my eggs as well as my, my milk, right? So I will be using three eggs uh, to complete this recipe. You'll see egg one, and then I use the second egg, and then I will end up using just three, right? So I've been <laughs> trying this for a long time. It's not really my mm. first time baking so some of the measurements are still in my head i just check based on what i see see the flour i don't even remember how many cups i used <laughs> so as long as when i mix with the margarine you see this is mama's bake right as long as when i mix with margarine i can feel it with my my hands that you know what it's 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 fine i don't know how do i say this like yogumbe yaman it's fine okay cool then we we i usually put this aside because I, I don't use the 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 spray for the pen i just use the traditional way which is margarine then i sprinkle what on top the flour right so i mix my eggs remember i put the eggs there and sugar so now i'll be putting my vanilla essence right so i would normally just pour there that's my vanilla essence just enough of flavor man it's not a lot so yeah there it is i put it there and then after uh, mixing all those together i'll have to what to just blend everything now because it's eggs it's sugar what else it's our um it's sugar and vanilla essence so i'm just using this one blender it's pretty cool I bought it and get Mr. Price and Mr. Price home. I think it was around how much was this? 209, I think. It has a two water so it's good as it lasts. Then I blend, blend, blend. I'm mixing the ingredients, ingredients together, right? And then after that, I then move on. So I just um, use my what's this? The 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 milk i'm adding the milk in there so i don't really measure much i can't really tell how much i use like my eyes do a lot of measurements but i do see that see these are two equivalent to about um three cups right yeah so let's say it's three cups i use three eggs then three cups of what of um milk then i mix together again I'm just blending it well there so it's wet ingredients plus the sugar because I don't have caster sugar. I really prefer my brown sugar when I do the baking. But if it was caster sugar, then I would have mixed it with the flour because it would be fine already. So that's the mixture, you see. 
okay then let's carry on we then uh, combine the two so that's obviously our flour and our margarine so i decided to just use one block of margarine since while the, 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 the flour is not that much it's actually self-raising flour so i really didn't have to add all those other stuff such as baking powder but on a normal uh, baking um well, on, on your normal recipe where you didn't use self-raising you would normally just add your your uh, baking powder some people also add uh, bicarbonate of soda but i i don't really like the way the texture is if you add it bicarbonate maybe i'm just adding a little bit i'm open so for, for for suggestions so if you prefer using your bicarbonate let me know in the comment section then i will maybe make a try to right. see now i'm adding everything together the mixture as well as the dough now so i've added everything together so meaning that this will be just mixed up then my oven is already preheating there so i put it on 180 degrees celsius and then i prefer just to start with the bottom ones um and then after i turn the heat to the to the grill right so i normally start with the bottom oven if i can actually go for the high heat the, i prefer them to be fine underneath before on top then they they are see i told you i don't use the non-sticky spray i'm still using the traditional way i applied my margarine then on top i dust it with the with flour right and then i put my i scoop them in little by little some people actually have the roller and all that now that's just too much work for me maybe if i'm baking uh, i don't know for christmas or for a very special occasion but here i was baking for hunger man i was so hungry so i had to just do things fast fast you see as long as they make a round shape then i'm okay because when you put them in the oven they just expand right so here it is i just put it on together then i just put them until they are all full like until the, the pan is filled up then i just um put it under the oven because as i'm preparing this my oven is already preheated the so yep here they are i'm done then i'm putting them lower heat like i said at the bottom there we go and i close it right okay then when they are done i just they I present them like this i just usually turn around so that the the other side should also get the heat i don't want them to be um ripe on one side only to be well cooked right because the heat doesn't go around circle there's a space where it leaves see now these are great perfect they are done so you can serve them warm you can serve them cold but i prefer them cold and then you, yeah that's the final presentation you can have them with uh, tea or anything